Okay there, ladies and degenerates, another win for the Bill of Rights and Constitution and another loss for KK Ken and KK Karen. I absolutely love it. You know you do too. Here's the thing. The entire world disagrees with what they did. Everybody outside of the United States can see it clear as day. They were out of bounds every step of the way. It's only in the United States that you have this echo chamber of right wingers who are just too far gone to see that they violated every single rule, every single regulation, law, statute, and constitutional amendment you could imagine. That's what they did. All right, they checked off a lot of boxes. They didn't just hit a trifecta, baby. They went way beyond that, make no doubt about it. Here's the deal. Let's just start with the weapon safety rules. And if you're unaware of what went on last night, there was a warrant served. They had the rifle seized because they violated the Second Amendment. When you violate the Second Amendment, your weapons can be taken from you. This has been something that's been going on since the beginning of the country. If you violate the Second Amendment, your weapons may be seized. Now, there's a very high likelihood that they're returned. I actually have a buddy who violated the Second Amendment in a similar fashion. He violated the Second Amendment in a similar fashion. He was drunk. He got into an altercation with some people. He's a right winger. Go figure. Um, he got into an altercation with people and he menaced them with an AR-15. They took his AR-15. They took his AR-15. You're not allowed to menace people with your weapons. Okay, and he ended up getting it back way later. All right, it was, it, man, it was a long time before. He, it was actually years before he got that back, which is surprising. Usually it doesn't take that long. Okay, usually it doesn't take that long. You don't have to fight for the weapon back so much, but it was, you know, things like this are a serious incident. They take AR-15 seriously. They take all this sort of stuff seriously, all right, as they should. We should take it more seriously. All right, the Second Amendment is a serious deal. You can't violate the Second Amendment and keep your guns. What the fuck's wrong with you? You belong in Ward 5 at Broadmoor. You belong in freaking Ward 2 at Bellevue. You belong in freaking Ward 4 at Whispering Pines. That's where you belong. You don't belong carrying a gun around. Are you out of your freaking rabbit ass mind? Now, furthermore, he violated the First Amendment by violating the Second Amendment, okay? While they were doing that, they violated the First Amendment rights of the protesters. That's not even being debated, actually. It's not even being debated. That was the most obvious thing that they did. Okay. They violated the Second Amendment. They violated the First Amendment. <laughs> Moving on, down. We're going downwards. They violated Missouri law. We covered that extensively. It is not ambiguous. It's not confusing. Okay. The law is, ve is worded very plainly. Thank you, Missouri. Uh, maybe, maybe some other states could fucking take a lesson from how to word some of this shit in plain English. Now, Furthermore, they violated other regulations, local laws, homeowners association uh, regulations, and every weapon safety rule. Every single weapon safety rule. Okay, you want to go over them? Point every, uh, treat every weapon as if it were shoot, uh, loaded. Okay, that's how you treat a weapon. You treat every single weapon as if it were loaded. That's what you got to do. All right, and for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. Someone who says they could have cleared it might not have cleared it properly. Maybe they didn't clear the chamber. Okay? You have to take that shit. You don't know how many people die every single year from accidents because they don't treat their weapon as if it were loaded. It's that simple. Okay? For Moving on. Keep your weapon on safe until you intend to shoot. Keep your finger straightened off the trigger until you intend to shoot. Never point your weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot. And make sure that you, this is not a Marine Corps one, but make sure you vet, for obvious reasons, make sure you verify what is behind your target. Verify what is, but did they do any of that? No, no, they brazenly violated all of those weapon safety rules. So of course, when you see all of this, coupled with the violations of the homeowners association, the violations of the local laws, the violations of the state laws, the violations of those people's first amendment rights, to go protest at the mayor's mansion. Mayor KK Krusen doxed people the day before a KKK rally in St. Louis. Okay, this is not a coincidence. I don't believe in that sort of serendipity. You must be out your rabbit ass mind if you think I do. I ain't that gullible, baby. I got that under conscience of skeptical thinking, all right? You might want to try it sometime. Stop being so willfully ignorant. Stop being so pridefully ignorant. Okay, you have, to have, you have to have skeptical thinking. You have to have the common sense. You have to have the undercurrent of scientific thinking and, too, and the working class conscious and all that good shit. All right? 
but they violated the First Amendment rights of those people on their way to protest at the mayor's mansion, which they are allowed to do 100% of the time. You are not allowed to stop them. That is not up to you. You made a huge mistake, and that's why they came and took that fucking gun. And here's the thing. They probably will get it back. They probably will get it back, and I think they should eventually get it back. I do. I do. I believe that the Second Amendment allows for more than just a second chance. Okay, now... I've, I know I've, I've done some digging and things like that, and it looks like these McCloskeys are a little more kooky than we originally thought. Apparently, they don't get along with their neighbors too well. Yeah, go figure. Um, they violated a lot of the other rules and regulations in the local area for the Homeowners Association. So I get it. There is the possibility of more confrontation just even with their neighbors, let alone random people coming through just to fucking protest at the mayor's man. Imagine how insane you would have to be. To think that's acceptable. I, just, I cannot fathom how many... What movies are you watching? What media are you consuming? How much of a cream puff? How much of a cupcake? How much of a coward are you? That you think that was a legal recourse? Guys, we got to be better as a country. you got to do better as a country. And you say, Mike, you know, well, you're pointing at other countries, saying they're laughing at us, saying they're doing this, saying they're doing that. Well, that's just an appeal, a popularity fallacy. Yes, it's an appeal to popularity, but that's not why it's right. It's right because it's right. How do you convince somebody? How do you convince one of these right-wingers that's defending KK Ken in KK Karen that 2 plus 2 is 4 when they say, no, it's not, it's actually 5? How do you convince them? How do you break it down? How do you break it down any more than I just fucking broke that shit down for you? Can you break that down a little more? Yeah, 1 plus 1, plus one is 2. All right, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. One plus one is two. One plus one is two. Yeah, those together, it's four. You know what I mean? Is that how we got to fucking break this down? I think that's what I just did. I think that's what I did on the first video, and I had these guys crying the whole time, whining, complaining. Listen, cry and complain all you want. I'm invested in Kleenex just because of you guys. I want to profit off of some of those tears. I want to take some of those souls. That's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.